I, I actually do have one quick question, Amanda. I, you know, we, we've had a lot of discussions here about uh, sometimes how the perception of the county budget does not reflect the reality. Um, and I know there, there have been some communications with uh, members of the local media. It, it, have we ever put out an offer to, to members of the local media to, to maybe host a workshop just to help educate them about Sacramento County's budget? Because I think, I think that might be helpful as well. I mean, I know I don't want to do anything, suggest anything that's going to take more of your time, Amanda, but I think that's important. Well, we haven't specifically um, offered one just for the media, but it's my understanding the media was invited to the two public workshops that we had uh, last in November. So yeah, so they were they were certainly well publicized, and I think there was some media interest um, that that our PIO fielded. So yes, yeah, I'm certainly invited, um, not specifically for the media, but invited to the public workshops. Okay. That certainly just something I think to, to, to keep in mind because I think that is, that. that is a common mm -hmm. theme that it's a lot of things I think are misrepresented about the, about the, the county's budget. Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. I, I'm really glad you brought that up. I think it's an important point and um, um, I would just um, say that as a, an example, uh, I guess the most recent example of I think the unfortunate um, uh, willingness of some media outlets to uh, simply scratch the surface of uh, their understanding of our budget process has really manifested itself in some of the over the last six months or so as it relates to you know the the stories we've read about city county responsibility on homelessness and simply writing a two sentence statement that well the, the county has a you know six point two billion dollar budget they must have the resources you know end of statement so um, we yeah, but but my so that to me is indication that there continues to either be um, a lack of understanding or perhaps even a willingness simply to gravitate towards um, you know being that uh, cursory um, uh, in referencing uh, what is an extremely complicated exercise, an extremely complex um, document that uh, takes months to develop. Um, and if it continues, if we continue to see those editorials and those stories where there's just this knee-jerk reaction to simply cite the, uh, the total amount of the budget without reference to even uh, um, depicting the, the general fund from you know, other federal and state pass-throughs and, and other um, you know, parts of the the totality of our budgeting responsibilities, uh, I think it's incumbent on us to be even more aggressive in inviting the media to um, to, to better understand um, what it is we uh, do over the course of January to the end of June. Uh, Supervisor Shern, if I can comment on that, I, I don't disagree with you at all. In fact, I agree with you wholeheartedly, but I do want to let you know that as it relates to homelessness, uh, the homelessness team, uh, myself, Siobhan, Emily, uh, Kim Nava, fr from communications standpoint, we actually spent an hour or more with the editorial board, and this very issue came up, and we did, in fact, explain that to them. Good. Well, I, you know, I, I think then um, there's probably, we should expect then that uh, no excuses, uh, cert, you know, um, involving plausible deniability on their part should be expected. But maybe it doesn't I'm, mean we shouldn't do it again. No, I understand. We, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Supervisor Sternum.